Cindy here with Pathways Homestead and today I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of Hannah's little garden here and talk about it. little garden so it is about 24 by 42 or something like that around those lines 25 by 40 whatever um, but anyway it is our little garden we usually plant in the spring and then we'll do some rotational planting so this year what we have left in it here it's spaghetti squash up here on the east side Gary started some zinnias here in the corner for fall there is some forage radishes here and um, some carrots, a little short row of carrots. And then here we have some more fall plants in this middle part. We have um, beets, spinach, lettuce, and radishes. And I've just wide blocked planted those. And then we have my sunflowers, which are doing amazing. They're looking beautiful. Some of them have flowered and are flowering. And then um, we have our fourth planting of cucumbers. Yes, fourth. The other three plantings either didn't germinate or what did germinate died, did not do well. And our assumption is because of the, the wet spring and early summer that we had here in Southeast Kansas. And then we have our collards, which I got ready to go harvest the collards the other day and I waited too late and the striped blister beetles had just ate them up. So I'm thinking about cutting them back and uh, feeding the leaves to the hogs or the chickens or goats. Somebody will get those and then um, try and again see what we get out of what's left of them. Because they'll grow if you take the outer leaves out. The center will grow back and produce more leaves. Then we have my red beans that I planted here for fall and um, we love red beans so we've got some of those and then we have our popcorn on the very outside and that's our second planting of popcorn and we got those seeds from our friends Ed and Cindy and um, so it's a real pretty popcorn and we really like that. So I will um, go ahead and do another shot that's movement so that you guys get to see everything. Zinnias planted here. Just a real short row, just a few little zinnias. Then we have beets and that seed that he got from Baker Creek. And then in this short row we have carrots and it's just a short little row. And of course we have the spaghetti squash. And in amongst the spaghetti squash are a few holdouts of onions that we planted earlier in the season and some kale that has come back from where we cut it back. And then in this row here, we have beets, spinach, lettuce, and then on the very end, radishes. And you can see my little stakes there to point out. And I just did a wide row planting of those and gently covered them. So there is a video about that. And I stomped them into the ground, as Gary said. And then we have or sunflowers. This big sunflower has finished out. He's done. But we'll let him get mature and collect his seeds and probably plant again. That is a, um, those are the giant gray striped. Then my cucumbers on this end, I have straight eights. And on that end, I have um, national picklers. And then I have another big, nice sunflower seed head there in the center. Then we have our collards. And as I said, they got eat up by the striped blister beetles. So, but they are coming back from the center. So I can 
just cut those outer leaves that are eat up off and feed them to somebody. One of the animals will get those, one set of the animals, and they'll eat them up. And then I have a volunteer tomato plant in the center down there at the end of the collards. And I just didn't have the heart to take that plant out after we've struggled so hard to get tomatoes this year. It is a little Sweet 100 uh, vol variety volunteer, and um, they are very prolific and a nice sweet little salad tomato that we really like. So that can stay, and if I have to, I can juice it. Um, it is very acidy, but you know, it can still be used. And then my fall planting of red beans, and they are doing wonderful um, after the disappointing green beans this year. You know, my garden just overall has just not done very well. And unfortunately, this is the year that I chose to clean out my stores and not um so last year i didn't can as much and part of that was because i was working a job in the fall and so i um, didn't can as much as i should have and didn't put up as much and so we decided to go ahead and just eat what we had and and try to uh, start over this year and then that just has not worked out so well this year but we'll see we still have um at least two months before our first frost first frost here is typically the middle mid october so we will see how that goes and see what we get. Um, I have my popcorn, and this is my second planting of popcorn. I had thought I would do the three sisters here, and that just didn't work out. Um, I have, I don't know. I don't know if I've not managed my time well, or if just circumstances, I have not been able to do the three sisters in these. And this is my second planting of popcorn. The first planting of popcorn drowned. And this, this is second planting of popcorn is doing okay. I probably will not put popcorn back down here in this low spot. If, if I put popcorn in this garden, it'll be up here on the west side where it's high. Because down here is too close to the terrace. And it catches too much water um, for rainy seasons like this year. And I have got, looks like the raccoons are coming into this one too. So um, I'm not going to get a whole lot of my dry corn. Um, my hard corn up in the big garden because the raccoons are hitting it so hard. So we're just doing what we can here in the little garden. It's looking amazing for fall, especially for mid-August typically. Um, this part of Kansas is, as my granny would say, burn up from the summer heat and lack of water. But this year we have had an, a very wet year, which has helped in some ways for some plants but not for others so this is Hannah's small garden this is our small garden and we rotational plant in this garden and it is the prettiest garden we have this year but so I'm going to go and I'm gonna film the big garden next so thank you for watching the mid-august tour of the small garden.